All right, guys, let's talk about the Breitling Super Ocean 42 millimeter. And this is going to sound messed up because I've had some awesome divers and I own some awesome divers. But snapshot in time, the 42 millimeter Super Ocean, I'm going to say it's my favorite dive watch right now. Hear me out. First off, obvious. There's awesome colors. There's blue, there's black, there's white, there's orange. There's black with a red chapter. There's black with a yellow chapter. And this is just in the 42 millimeter. In Breitling, if you're still listening, please make a yellow dial 42 millimeter. I would love to have a third one in my collection. Just saying, personal preference, 42 millimeter. You already do it in the 44 millimeter. It's your corporate color. Give me a 42 millimeter yellow dial. All right, so let's break it down. Let's get into the specs here. We're looking at a 42 millimeter case, 50 lug to lug, 13 and a half millimeter thick, but that's including the double dome sapphire crystal with AR coating top and bottom. It is They do a very good job on their crystals. 20 millimeter lug width. These awesome professional bracelets taper down to 18 millimeter. You have a 6.6 millimeter screw down crown, keeping 500 meter water resist with no helium escape valve. I don't know, how do you do that? Everyone else does it with a helium. And it has a nice heft to it. Sized for my wrist, seven and a quarter inch wrist, weighing in at 175 gram. That's got a little bit of tank to it. It's, it's got some heft, you know you're wearing a luxury diver. That's the other thing I really like about this. I classify this as a luxury diver. Typically, any of the brands out there, the dive watchers are going to be the more affordable. That's maybe, besides the fact that dive watches just look so dang cool and sporty, that might be another big draw for a lot of people with most brands is that the divers are typically on the more affordable side of things. Brand new, if you were to pay retail, which... I don't know if Breitling's quite there yet. They're trying to get there where they're paying full retail. You might be able to get a deal on these brand new authorized dealer. The retail price is $4,200. You're probably going to pay less than that. On the secondary market, I think they're climbing a little bit. I was seeing some occasionally around the $2,000 mark, which is to me, this watch for two grand used, which I bought this one new or used. I bought that one new. Um, Two grand for this watch is a no-brainer. Just pick whatever color you want. Go find one, secondary market. Make sure it's authentic and everything. Get it from a reputable seller. Pay the $2,000 and you have yourself an awesome dive watch. There's almost no cons to this. I'm sure people will pick it apart. I personally can't because I'm biased and I just love the thing. And I'm going to focus on all the things that I love about it. And I feel like there's a lot. The movement. It's Breitling's Caliber 17. What is a Caliber 17? As far as I can tell, because they haven't changed anything on their website, it's a 25 joule, 38 hour power reserve movement. That means it's still the ETA 2824. And then I don't know if they spec it from ETA in a COSC. That would be the easy way to do that because you can buy movements like that. Or if they take care of it in-house. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm not going to pull the case back on this, and if I did, I think that would tell me a lot, but maybe at one point I'll have a watchmaker do it. But all of Breitling watches are COSC. There's really them and I think Rolex basically do that. Not, Not all brands COSC every movement or every watch. Breitling does. So 120 click bezel, and it's it's nice. It's It's easy to grip. It's not too aggressive, but it's plenty of traction. Nice sounding. Lines up. I love that they have the metal ring on the inside there. That just adds to dimension, and I think it actually helps it play smaller. This watch, although the same size as my older um, Omega uh, Seamaster Professional, the full ceramic one, uh, dial and not the watch, but the dial and the bezel and everything, uh, same exi- same size, like 42 by 50, but the Super Ocean wears smaller. By the way, to shorten it up, instead of saying Breitling Super Ocean, I'd just call them BSO. They're BSOs to me. But if we zoom in on this guy, you're going to take a closer look here at 
this beautiful orange dial. Now I'm showing you the orange dial one because I've already done a video on the yellow. I will, or the white. See, I can't get yellow out of my head. Um, they have the awesome B winged logo. You have your date at the three o'clock. That's probably one of the biggest gripe I think that people have with this is it's kind of cartoonish, the font, the 12, six and nine. And some people, a lot of people probably, would rather the date be gone or relocated somehow and the three be there. Honestly, Brightling, again, if you're still listening, do a limited edition 42 millimeter yellow dial, ditch the date, and do a 12, 3, 6, and 9. I don't know. Just, just throwing it out there. I think a lot of people would love that, including me. Now, the uh, bezel here, if you look, it's actually fully metal. And even like the uh, markers and everything, it's all metal. It's all part of the bezel. And then the inlay, the previous generation used to be a vulcanized rubber. This is DLC. So they DLC this and then they machine uh, finish the raised parts. So it cleans it off. So it's going to be crazy scratch resistant. Probably not the same as like ceramic, but it's inlaid a little bit. So you can already see this one has already been scratched and everything. There's little marks on this, even on the case side. I picked this one up from my buddy Chris. Uh, Chris has that... Uh, the Watch Lounge YouTube channel, and now he works over at Luxury Bazaar. This was uh, not my first purchase ever from Luxury Bazaar, but it was my second. And I have to say, they're they're absolutely pleasant to deal with. Chris knew I loved orange dial watches and the Breitling Super Ocean, so when he got his hands on this, he he uh, texted me or called me like right away. He's like, "Hey, I got this. Do you want it? Here's the price. Here's what it looks like." And I'm like, mm, "Yeah, Chris, I do want that." <laughs> so. Super easy to deal with, and it's nice to have those relationships. Uh, and I like that this one's actually used, and it was scratched up a little bit. Now, I put a few of these scratches on, but most of these scratches were already on here. So that helped out with the price. You can get these cleaned up, but honestly, I've been using this as, like, my work watch, guys, because it's kind of already there. Like, I don't have to worry about scratching it up a little bit. It already has it. It's already been done. So I ripped the deck off my house the other day, this watch on my hands. Um, you know, I was doing some pipe wrenching at my day job and stuff like that. This watch on my wrist, no big deal. Um, you know, I'm not going to be uh, unnecessarily rough with it. I'm not going to be like neglect it and like intentionally damage it, but I'm also going to wear it. So, and I really love that about this watch. So let me pop it on my wrist real quick. Oh, these bracelets are so good, guys. These bracelets are amazing. Clasp. I know a lot of people will complain about the clasp. You still get four micro adjust. Uh, in a simple uh, stamped part here. I'm totally fine with it. I don't think they need to change it. They probably will. The other thing I want to show you, my buddy Bruce pointed out, when you're doing these older style clasps for the Breitling, don't push down, push up, push like that. Does that make sense? And it'll snap right in. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Uh, accessories for it are nice too. You can get rubber straps like I, Back in the day, I bought the blue rubber strap and the adjustable buckle for my white one. This buckle, I know a lot of people would love to see this buckle on the, the regular uh, metal bracelet. It also has a quick adjust on it. So that part's really cool. I mean, this is a really nice clasp. I wouldn't be mad if they switched to this. I actually like the older one better, but I wouldn't be mad if they did this. This is like super fine. So uh, here they are next to each other. Awesome watches, guys. I mean, I have room, right? Like, let's do the yellow one right here. Orange, white, yellow, boom. That's another thing I really love about these. They're just so playful, so colorful. Just, they're not, they're still a serious diver, but they're not as serious as, say, like, just a Samariner, a Pelly, or any of the run-of-the-mill uh, luxury divers out there. This one's, like, way more playful. Excellent loom, too. Super legible, especially... As I'm getting older, uh, the legibility definitely helps. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.